Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, we're going to be playing some Sharp Fangs on board H against Sweden. We've got Sands Explorer. That is our worst explorer with a Wetland Royal backing. Oh, wow. That's devastating. So that's both of our... This is like a mega edge case for us. Um, wow. So I think um, because we have this opening, we have to open up with our other cards. And our other cards are... I can there we go. So we have um terrifying chase as well as prey on builders. We need to find an answer for the sands. Um and then we'll have to let our each two go. And let's see what we get here. We're getting a minor. Um we did get the hand gathers. I do like renewing rain as it's a blight heal. We'll probably do renewing rain. Loose of ambushes is definitely something to consider. Eh, actually, let's do ambushes. Defend is so strong anyway. Do presence from top track over to here. Playing these two cards and we are going to use our innates actually we'll not gather that I might want to fill that city hmm gather gather now regardless I won't be able to kill the city because I need to have a beast here oh god board H all the adjacency. So basically I have a gamble here. If I pull the beast out of my H4 into my uh, my H8, if this comes up, I just can't deal with it. If I pull this beast out, I actually can't deal with this land either because I have to remove my only adjacent beast. Um, and I need a presence to go with it. I guess if that's the case, I could put this presence here instead, turn that into a beast. It's actually probably better. I put the presence here for top track. I'm going to go towards that energy this game. Turn that into a beast. Play the two cards. And then I can gather, bring, push. There we go. And there it is. There's the mountain. So at least I have that adjacent beast so I can kill the city here. I'm still not that excited, but this is what it is. We're going to throw all of this stuff into there. And then we're going to throw this Dahan and this Dahan into there. So I've basically paired up my Dahan such that they're both, um, both of those lands, my jungle and the wetland, are both free from getting hit by the Sweden escalations. And we're going to put another presence. Uh, actually, before we do that, I think I go with the energy here. Land to kill this. Top track, turn that into a beast, play these two, and the idea is, is I can kill this, pushing a beast like this, oh, whoops, yes, yeah, so I gotta be super careful here, because I have both jungle tar targeting cards, so I gotta use this, kill all of that, push a beast to there, and push this beast to there. Now I want to move my presence to that jungle there, so I have targeting for these two cards. Oh, yeah, and I played around beast attack. That's why I threw both of them there. Here's a little rain. Well, uh, I mean, it's kind of sad because I have no presence with the Han, so even if I pay for this card, I don't get the benefit. But I don't think I want to add another Blight here. So I'm going to forget my one water card. That one. Well, at least they only take a single blight there, which is really freaking cool. We're gonna own, we're gonna mining rush into that jungle, and mountain. Oh, the, the back to back. Luckily, though, use a little rain, um, put us so far ahead here, as I can now clear both of my mountains. And I actually think I might have won the game. And this is kind of why I don't like Sweden that much, is just because it's super um, super swingy. Like it's if if this was like wetlands, right? The game looks totally different. But now I'm like. Aeons ahead, right? I'll be able to clear this. I'll be able to get Han set up for my wetlands. Um, I'm just gonna be doing so well here. Another minor, um, quick and amazing. Called it, called a trade amazing. These are all like really, really good cards for us. Um, the weakest is Portents, even though I love Portents. Um, I'm, I think I'm gonna go with Gnawing Root Biters just for the the lulls. Um, I want to have a town push here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go with Gnawing Root Biters for the lull. But really, I think if I grab Call to Trade or Quicken, I win the game on the spot. 
I think this is just a more interesting card here. And... We want to go prisons from bottom track now that I picked up a zero. Transform that to a beast. Actually, we'll not transform that to a beast. Put our presence over here. And we're going to play... This. What was this? I want to use my innate here. Gathering a beast. We're going to throw a beast there and also a beast here. I'm throwing the beast here because I'm playing around beasts damage. Uh, heavy farming. Add a Dahan. Add the Dahan over here to the wetlands. Actually, no. We'll add the Dahan over here to the jungle. There's that worst explorer that I was talking about, but luckily I played Dahan Rupiders this turn, so I could I plan to push out this town or push these two towns out. Um, benefit of pushing out this town is I can completely clear the land. Um, negative is I don't have an answer for this land here. But I think what I'm supposed to do is actually push these towns out. Use my innate here, and then skip that build. Presence from bottom track. Before we do that, I'm debating if I want the energy. I think I do. Get another miner. Uh, well, there's cycles, which is the blight healing for the sands. We also have a Purifying Flame, Pact of the Joint Hunt is good. These are all really good pickups. Um, a Pact allows me it's on element that's been gathering to Hunt here to do damage. Um, we do Pact. So I can go Presence from bottom track. Presence there. And we can do something like this, this, this. I can use my innate, killing that explorer, pushing the beast into this wetlands. Then I can do Prion Builder, skipping this build. I have Pact to clear it out, and then I have Terrifying Chase to cover my edge case here. Finish Gathering. Okay. Okay. Yep, and there's the edge case, just playing around everything so nicely. Down, town, explorer, town. Packed the joint hunt. And... Could have picked up the blight heal as well, um, instead of the card that I did play, but I decided not to. So, this is what it is. Get in their miner here. Um, Really, I mean, you could go with any of these. I mean, Swarm Wasps, excellent pickup. Um, Devouring Ants, great. I could start chewing away at this land. I also like Call of Bloodshed. I could throw Dahan in there. I'll probably just go with Bloodshed just because I have Pact of the Joint Hunt here. And we'll go Presence from Top Track so I can get some consistent energy. Go there. And we will play um, that. Pact of the Joint Hunt. Well, it's too near. Beast destroys. I may use a slow power now. Finish it using it. Okay. Sands. Um, like I said. Oh, I have to choose a land with the Han. Oh, that's such a shame. Yikes. That, that really does suck. I guess I have to do this in the other order. In wetland. I believe I'm supposed to go presence from bottom track here. And the energy. Too near. Claiming pack to the joint hunt. Playing that, playing that. Playing verifying chase.
Okay, does nothing. A disease here, sure. Oh, I just changed uh, how it looks. That's pretty interesting. Active joint hunt. That's pretty hilarious. Oh. Oh, and that's GG. So, very fun game with Fangs. I mean, we did get edge case a little bit. Um, with the worst explorer coming up. But as you guys saw, we just were able to utilize our cards and play around the edge case around mountains and then the wetlands and yeah so there's that one draft i had with quicken call to trade and non group riders they were all great picks um i was i liked that i was able to use non group riders a card that a lot of people don't like if you like this video like subscribe for more content i will see you guys in the next video